in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed what do you want God to do for you? General lifting. There's no such thing as that. That statement already is both a sign of spiritual ignorance and then the fact that you are not prepared to receive anything. Are we together now? Yes. So faith, I wrote here, is expectation that is based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. That faith is expectation based on God's integrity and ability as revealed by his word. It's impossible to say you have Bible faith without expectation. Because faith must be connected to an object, expectation. There must be something definite. Hallelujah. If you're with me, shout amen. Amen. Tonight, many of us have come and sadly many are here and even though you've seen the power of God move already, there are many people who are without expectations and the Lord put it in my heart as we step into this second session of the miracle service that without an expectation, sadly you may return back with no testimony at all because expectation is a law if it is bible faith it must be connected to specific things and specific areas where you want god to visit you i wrote a list of things here that represent many people's desires and expectations number one marital issues number two diseases and sicknesses the things that plague people that necessitate an expectation three financial situations of all kinds Number four, demonic oppressions. Five, the need for restoration. Six, direction of all kinds. Breakthroughs. Deliverances from all kinds of yokes. Every time you see a people gathered unto God like this, these usually are the issues that represent their pain, that represent their expectations and until you are able to articulate it you look at anything in your life that does not reveal or reflect the glory of God you now connect Lord I trust you and I release my faith that this situation must come to an end for instance I mentioned by the Spirit the case of people maybe having financial issues here. You saw the number of people who came. I was very impressed. It is a terrible thing to not know what is wrong with you. It is a terrible thing to not even know what you need. Are we together now? That's why the Holy Spirit guides us when we come. So that you will know when your word comes. And so that you will know when to receive and to manifest your testimonies. Your testimony will not pass you by. I wrote finally here that every genuine expectation is expressed in words and action. Please write. Every genuine expectation is expressed in words and actions. Expectations that cannot be expressed in words and in action is not expectation at all. Every genuine expectation is expressed in words. Words there means you must be able to pray it and you must be able to take the necessary steps as required for victory. Every genuine expectation. Now, imagine those who were just healed and delivered, just like that. 
Did you know that if their word came as it came and they did not come out, maybe they just sat down saying, well, it's none of my business. They, you will be surprised that with the power of God moving up and down, it will pass them by because they did not, God will not force his power on you. I hope you know that. I'm saying this because when we begin to pray and we begin to minister deliverance and minister healing and so on and so forth, and then more importantly, your prayer request, no matter how accurate God has granted the grace, we see in part, we prophesy in part. This is why everybody is given the liberty to write your prayer request. Please let me encourage you. Don't get so used to just writing and submitting your prayer request. It is a very powerful tool. It is a way of guiding you by the Spirit to clearly articulate your expectations. There are things you may not have the courage to say here. Imagine how embarrassing it will be if I call you and I say, tell us everything that is your expectation. Some will be personal. There are things that is between you and God alone. That's why we write it and we pray over it here. And from here, it is burnt. It is nobody's business what you have written. Are we together? That means you should not spare when writing the things you are trusting God for. What things soever ye desire, it says, when ye pray, you are a man of God and ministry is not working. No doors opening, souls are not being saved. You write it. Father is supernatural breakthrough in ministry. Write it clearly. I have a son. What is his name? John. John does not seem to be a disciplined gentleman, write it. Supernatural restoration for John. I'm showing you how to prepare. You write it both in your heart and then on paper. So that when we begin to pray, as the power of God is coming, it is resting upon your expectation and turning it into a testimony. You can return back and know that this happened to me. And you can return back to testify, I wrote this. Jesus did this. Look what my life has become now. When Dave was here taking the testimony, he said there is before and after, but that only happens when there is an expectation. Is someone learning? Yeah. When I pray preparing for the miracle service or any other service for that matter, I have expectations myself as a man of God, even for the meeting. Some are revealed by the Spirit. Some come as my sincere desire to see God's people blessed. And these expectations are reflected in my, prayer, my prayers as I prepare for the meeting. Lord, bless your people. For instance, two major expectations is healing and financial breakthrough. This has been my major expectation and my prayers for God's people. Because this is what I have discerned that Satan is using to cripple his body. These two things. One, sicknesses of all kinds, extending to demonic attacks. Number two, financial problems. You will be surprised to see how many believers are stranded financially. And let me tell you the truth, for as long as God has anointed us, but I'm not somebody, when I am, I am dealing with issues that help believers to rise, I'm not ashamed of it. When you are blessed and you rise, it is a joy to Jesus, to the purposes of God, and even to me. For as long as you are under this ministry, you will not be poor. Let me tell you the truth. It's true. You will learn the ways of the kingdom, but you will also receive the engracings and the prophetic backing that it takes to rise. Are we together? Healing and finances. These were my major areas. Doesn't mean we'll touch on other areas, but these two areas. That means by the time we begin to minister in this second session, when you hear me speaking and declaring over your finances, shout a loud amen and receive it with all your heart. Don't be like the foolish man who stood at the gate of Samaria and, and was trying to mock the prophet Elisha that even if God will open the heavens, might this happen? And he said, you will see it, but you will not eat of it. God is changing the stories of men. God is surprising people. You see people come and they are testifying here. Healings and even financial miracles. That is not all God can do. He will respond to your expectation. 
For someone you are here praying, saying, Lord, I cannot have five boys, ten boys, and none of them has risen. As their mother, I'm still feeding them age 40, age 50, age 30. That that demonic oppression must stop and God comes to you. For someone, maybe there's no peace in your home. You love the Lord, but it's as if there is, there is war always happening in your home. Father, I need peace. You are the Prince of Peace. Bring peace to my home. And you'll be surprised. While you are here, the husband and wife can be here. And the fire of God just falls upon them. An altar call is made. And you'll see your husband coming to give his life to Christ. And that begins a journey of total transformation. Maybe you're a man of God who loves God, but there's almost zero anointing on your life and your ministry. You struggle on the pulpit and it looks like God did not call you. You can bring that to an end. The anointing is transferable. Graces are transferable. Apostle, I'm here. I love the Lord, but I don't even know what I'm doing on earth. I'm just escorting men around the corridors of their destiny. I need to find my place. Do you have it as an expectation? An expectation is more than a wish. A wish is a careless desire with no consequences, whether it is actualized or not. An expectation comes with dogged faith attached to it. Lord, I'm, I'm committing your integrity on this matter. Archbishop Benson, in a host of blessed memory, said if your faith says yes, that God would not say no. Because if it is Bible faith, it will be based on his will. So there is no reason why God should say no. Are we together? Apostle, I'm tired. I've been married 10 years, 15 years, no child. Well, I'm sure that God will open my womb. That kind of, that, that is a careless, you know, very, very shabby wish. It will not happen that way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. This is my miracle service. I connect and I declare that in the name of Jesus, by next miracle service, I'm already pregnant. I release my faith. You believe. And while you are saying it, the devil will be mocking you and saying, is that not what you said last miracle service? Has it happened now? You need to learn how to forget about the devil when you are dealing with God. Don't allow him come and interrupt your conversation with God. You are talking to the king of kings, the lord of lords, the creator of the ends of the earth. Don't let Satan come and interrupt your discussion. Father, I know in the name of Jesus that I can complete this house. I've begun this building project as it is now. I may be stranded, but in the name of Jesus, you have told me that this year of open doors, that in Jesus' name, I will dedicate my own house. While he's saying it, here comes the devil. He will whisper all kinds of things and say, just to remind you for the records that you lost your job last month, and just to let you know that right now as it is, they've increased the school fees of your children. Before you know it, you will take your attention from Jesus Christ and you are listening to the devil. And at the end of it, your, your prayer request will make you, you will just be reduced from the realm of the spirit to the realm of the flesh. How do you know you have come back to the realm of the flesh? What you were once confident upon will look like stupidity. You know you have been reduced back to that realm. Lord, I'm trusting you for supernatural partnership for my ministry. And then eventually you say, ah, boy, use your sense. Who will come and give you one million, 10 million, 100 million? The devil has succeeded in bringing you down. The Bible says, this I say then, walk ye in the spirit. That to be spiritually minded, it says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Is someone learning now? I want you to come and li listen you do not know the joy that is in my heart when people come to stand here and testify because testimony is the end product of the manifestation of faith that God's word has finally delivered unto me and now you are declaring to the nations that he's faithful you are declaring to the nations that he's dependable you are my God that's what happens when you declare that you are my God. Regardless the limitations, I prevailed by faith. You are my God. Despite the cost in the family, now I have the children. You are my God. Listen to me. Believers, hear me. If you do not believe that God is able to 
to step in for you then just know that you are wasting your time as you're seated here don't make up your mind father i'm not going to be the one just catching people as they fall i'm not going to be the one watching people as they say amen and some of you the lack of expectation even appears physically a word is coming in the name of jesus and you just stand and you're seeing somebody receive you know just verbalizing this is my word and you just stand watching wow and then when it looks very powerful you just lift one hand and say amen you will never receive like that god is not a fool are we together expectation has an attitude they said look on us and the bible says he looked at them expecting to receive when elisha was going to receive from elijah there was an attitude if you can see me as i'm taking up some of you have come here to access mantles and to access graces don't sit down and, and your ministry is dying whereas there is a plethora of graces you can access and rise to a position where you are of value to the kingdom don't be a man of god as if you are not anointed but it's your expectation a word can be coming oh the healing anointing is coming and you and that is really what you need let me tell you the truth if you're a man of god the sick are not healed through your hands oppressed people are not delivered lives are not being changed can i surprise you even if you're a good teacher especially in africa believe me there will be limitations because in ministry it is the message and the backing that go hand in hand if what you are communicating is truth it must be backed up with signs following and for any genuine ministry people must hear and see the workings of god in acts chapter 8 when you read from verse 5 down to 8 the bible says philip went down to samaria and he preached christ unto them six says the people gave heed to the things which philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles that he did that means he said jesus is able to do this and he demonstrated it jesus is able to lift and he demonstrated it jesus is able to wipe away tears and he demonstrated it so it is my desire that you are a man of god here a minister of the gospel do not just yes you may come to receive healing or whatever it is for yourself but among the many things you should not forget to carry is the grace that produces that result. are we together yes whenever i have the privilege of meeting genuinely anointed people especially fathers of faith i'm like a sponge i don't go there saying i'm anointed too i search especially spiritually what are the graces that I need for this level in my life that are not yet at work in my life? And any opportunity God grants me to connect, I connect by faith. I was so touched with the testimony of that redeemed, that precious redeemed pastor. That was already a man of God, a pastor. And that's the problem, especially with most people. You feel I'm a pastor too. We are all men of God. I have taught you, you never receive having a colleague mentality. He was at the redemption camp according to his story already and god gives him a word and then he takes that race to empty his account now look a land owner in lekki the mainland and i can tell you that is only child's play compared to what is coming results happen by steps of faith and then graces that work don't forget this when the grace for something is on your life you cannot but produce the results these are not cunningly devised fables once you are seated under this atmosphere even if you are not sick in your body even if you are not trusting god for any financial miracle even if you are not trusting god for any breakthrough do you know that you can become a living potent career of certain graces and i told you that graces are not silent the career may be silent but the grace will not be silent no graces make noise when grace a grace is upon your life you cannot but manifest and i'm praying for someone already in the name of jesus every grace that is missing but required in ministry in business every grace that is required but not yet at work in your life may this be the season you will carry it yeah. hallelujah there are many graces that are available for believers 
and 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 you see every time when, when i speak like this i speak passionately there is no need to struggle we have done teachings on the body of christ here it is foolishness i'm telling you when when you refuse to open up your heart to receive the graces that are available especially when abundance of it it's like somebody crying hallelujah and of God, fully speaking, he just reached me and we're laughing. He said, Apostle, I heard that when you open up for volunteers for the UK conference, there were about 3,000 people. That that is enough for a conference on itself. And this will, how do 3,000 people come together in another land? Are we together now? In another land, 3,000 people to be volunteers, to be the workforce, not the people coming for the conference. It is not pride, it's a grace. And you can carry that same grace to your shop. You can carry that same grace to your ministry. Are we together now? Yes. It is my prayer that sooner or later, God will help us to see the value of impartations. Your Christian experience will be barren in many regards. There are many of us here, and, and I, I say this from, from a heart of love. If one person having a crutch, one person alone is healed in your church or your ministry or your prayer group, that one healing alone can bring you tens of partners to come and stand with you and say, we believe in what God is doing. You're not going to be able to do end time ministry being powerless, bankrupt of graces. You speak over people, they don't shout amen because they know that shouting is wasting their time. There is a track record of you making a lot of noise with no result. Everything mocking God in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, it dies at this miracle service. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, you should not be ordinary. You lay hands on people. They are even looking at you frowning because they believe that nothing came on their head. And they are right. Since I laid hands on you, what happened to you? Absolutely nothing. In fact, I went down. I was even better before you laid hands. As soon as your hand came on me, I, the remaining part of the breakthrough now went down. Your life must change. Your life must change. Your mind must change. Your mind must change. Your life must change. Your life must change. How do you know you have access grace? The results. The results. The results. What suddenly happened to your shop? Man of God, where did you go to that God is drawing as many to be saved? I used to know you as an ordinary preacher. While you are preaching, you are sleeping. What came upon you that now you are communicating the word of God with fire and precision, with signs and wonders following? I met a man of God who... I think he was around last week or week before last and he shared a very touching testimony he said apostle i used to struggle so much in ministry i would open my bible and literally be frustrated on stage and he said one time i came i don't know for which of the services and i received an impartation he said when i went back it was fire now what surprised him was that most people in the church did not even know that he came here but to his greatest shock he said he started seeing his worship team literally reflecting like our people here he didn't tell them oh this is the thing about impartation the spirit you contact is what begins to work you contact excellence you will be surprised the most disorganized people in your organization something starts bringing them together they do not even know where you went to receive an impartation from Please believe what I'm telling you. Graces speak. They looked at Peter and said, these are unlearned men. But they discerned that they had been with Jesus. I'm saying this because we'll be rising up shortly. And I want your hearts to, if you're sick, trust God to step in for you. But among the many things I'm praying that will happen to us, 
is this area of healing, this area of financial breakthrough, and then impartation. Don't be limited, my brother, my sister. Refuse to be limited. You are a prophet and people are still doubting. Are we together now? We who are not even prophets by office are prophesying more than you. It's not, it's not, it's not competition. I'm challenging you. You can rise to a level of the prophetic with uncanny mastery that you speak the counsel of God and nations will stand still because they have learned that you have leaned your ears to the heart of God and that when you say you heard God, you really heard. How about some of us here who are jumping up and down saying we are kingdom financiers. You've not supported the, the program of God with one naira because the devil has seen that you have a heart for God and he's fighting the resources from coming. It will take more than business ideas as important as that is. There is a forceful dimension of the prophetic that can push you into your Goshen. There are many gifted people who the world does not know of and it ought not to be so because you see the Bible says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel listen to me it is not a manifestation of flesh when you desire sincere visibility for the purpose of the kingdom without visibility and influence the nations cannot know you are there it's not by trying to market yourself you are lifted by grace there is a hand that lifts men and puts them in a position where the nations know that god has lifted you now it gives you the platform to serve the purposes of god many of us are frustrating ourselves trying to manipulate ourselves into visibility it doesn't happen that way when that grace is on you you can be in a cave and yet from that cave god will raise men to look for you now i don't know what your expectation is tonight but for the next two or three minutes i'm going to allow you with the lord jesus christ verbalize your expectation Please open your mouth and cry to the Lord that which you desire him to do in this miracle service. Please pray. Someone is verbalizing his expectation. The expectation of the righteous shall not be cut short. man of god what do you desire the lord to do in this season where the wave of his glory the wave of revival is sweeping from nation to nation i repeat to you again we are in the days of his power we are in the days of his power we are in the days of apostolic signs and wonders heralding the end time move of jesus across the nations businessman what do you desire that god does in this season where he's raising men and giving men the wealth of nations to frontier the purposes of the kingdom. One more minute, don't be silent.
pray. Shalabadagata praskadava lato satia. Kranta kaparato skadia. You are a man of God. I like you to declare. I'm tired of doing ministry without genuine power. Tired of the difficulty experience in calling many to Jesus, drawing many to Jesus. Oh, for they need to come and come in their multitudes. We are in the days of his power. My Bible says the people shall be willing. Few more seconds. Hallelujah. Listen. Maybe one day, when we have the opportunity and we're teaching, I will share with you a bit of my story and how I sought for and pursued some of these graces that God has so graciously made available today. In as much as God has granted me the privilege of encounters with Jesus, I can tell you that there are many graces that are upon my life today that did not just come from that one encounter or those encounters. There were times in my life when I had to review my life with respect to God's expectation for me and I had to search by knowledge by mentorship and by revelation the graces that will be required for my efficiency I am still a seeker of those graces up until today and I began to intentionally meticulously search for the graces that are responsible for producing genuine ever increasing results I submit to you again that struggle will never end until grace comes on an individual many people you you can have a semblance of results you can jump and keep gyrating if the results are not there it is because the grace is not there it's as simple as that so i want you please hear me do not be distracted because i trust that by god's grace i will be speaking from the depth of my spirit and for God's sake, I'm praying that somebody will, even if it's for the first time, that you will open up your heart to carry something, something of substance. And it doesn't matter whether you are male or female, doesn't matter whether you are young or old, doesn't matter whether you are found or on sight. The most important thing is your faith. Make up your mind that ministry will not be barren again. Make up your mind that you will not be around rigma rolling as if God did not call you. Make up your mind. You're not the first to do what you're doing. It is the bankruptcy of the grace needed. And you may say, I have an anointing. Is it for the level you are stepping into? Yesterday's anointing will not command today's results. No, sir. Hallelujah. Can I start with an impartation? It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. Even if we don't have time to get to take testimonies, no problem. Let me start with an impartation. Listen to me. I want to start with impartation for ministers of the gospel. Everybody will receive, but particularly, you are, you are a minister of the gospel, let your heart be open. I want to release a grace upon you. Ministers of the gospel, it's time to do this powerlessness in the church. If we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces, the purposes of God and the program of God will suffer. I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus I declare for everyone called into ministry, the mantle and the grace needed, take it now. 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 The grace needed for efficiency. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. 
if you are a prophet here may your eyes and your ears be open supernaturally may a mantle come upon you male and female may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ the healing anointing I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people I don't know who you are but drink of that fountain in the name of Jesus Christ drink of that fountain a new wave of the healing anointing a new wave of the healing anointing I release it upon you I, re I release it upon you take that grace now signs and wonders I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders potent signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ that through your hands the blind will see through your hands the deaf will hear through your hands cripples will walk in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny I'm telling you I'm seeing like candles I'm seeing candles in the spirit and fire is coming on those candles this is what I'm seeing it looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now that Pentecost fire let it come upon you now Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life I'm still praying for everyone but particularly ministers of the gospel the spirit of revelation superior illumination into scripture I tell you men and women will teach scripture like never before the Word of God will open up to you you will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude receive that grace right now receive that grace the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ every altar that has been barren of power from any man or woman of God here in the name of Jesus return back to your various stations with fire return back to your various stations with fire in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the name of the Lord let's do the finance one now father it is your desire for your people to prosper even in this season and many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy certain financial doors may not seem to be open but in the name of Jesus you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men therefore the grace component required for your financial exploits receive it now Hmm. Hmm. receive it now receive it now hear me there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus 
Hallelujah. Please be silent. I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants, aha, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm telling you there's, there's such fire that is moving. In the name of Jesus, let there be deliverance for such people, supernaturally. Please bring them out. Whether for individuals or families, very quickly, men and women, everything that has tied your progress, I decree and declare right now, be released. Be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken, Let it, Let it be broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother, it happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The apakosh ketepata. The blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. is saying he's opening graves i don't know what this means but in the name of jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry i stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of god bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry, connected to the spirits of the dead. Be delivered now. I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto so de balakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm saying. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now, right now. I break that chain of that patapakatos keta that pattern of death. Break now! Break now! Break now! Break now! Anyone here appointed unto death? 
that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before levels you have left according to scripture believers don't go backward we only go forward every spirit drawing you back i break you from their influence now let me tell you this hear me i hope you know i used to have those experiences myself before you've heard my story as a man of god though not just a, an, an ordinary believer i used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things i would shout jesus shout jesus nothing will happen that is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people i do it with passion because i've been a victim of oppression again let me speak to someone you have prayed you have fasted you have tried and yet nothing has changed in the name of jesus this night be delivered permanently 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me the vision of a door and I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door and according to the vision I'm seeing trying to force the door to open and some are even crying and I'm seeing people dropping like dying yet that door is not opened I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and i believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically i taught you at the beginning of this year 
that there are three ways doors are open. Number one is by the use of the right key. Number two is by knocking the ministry of men. But number three, by force and power. Let me use number three. Because when those doors open, they open from their foundations. I decree and declare every generational door that has closed Parakatos Yata. I stand and as an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let that door be open now. I break that door now. I break that door now. I break that door now. Generational doors be open. Be open. Be open. Efata be open. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service. Hear me? You see, when a door is open or broken, the most important thing is that the right of way has been given. You will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you. In the name of Jesus, for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three, go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives, never to return again. In the name of Jesus. The sun sets them free and we declare the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability. You see the teachings that I've been bringing. These are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of Christ, please hear me, is death through sickness. Mysteriously, people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for. Are we together now? It is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. Praises to your name, oh God, for your name is great and greatly. We lift your name.
place your hand there right now and as I pray for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again I speak as one sent from God may that spirit leave your body now that devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe to South Africa to Kenya to Zimbabwe to Ghana to Lagos to Abuja to Joss to Kano let the healing power of God begin to flow right now be healed in the name of Jesus 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 blood conditions be healed now cancer die now HIV be healed now blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now blind eyes partial or complete blindness we command that you open now deaf ears be open now anyone here suffering from the issue of blood I declare be healed right now every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body there is someone fire is coming on you there's movement all over your body you literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a woman in a vision it started like having you know how you have cold maybe a flu or something and then you lose your voice but till now your voice is not restored this has this has become months you know most times people just take maybe lemon warm water or something some you know and and then eventually their voices their, their, the sound returns but for this woman your, your your voice refused to return back so you speak as though you are whispering it's a demonic thing I restore your speaking now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a woman you are laying your hands right now you are in this place you are laying your hands upon your daughter your little baby there's been a mysterious sickness you don't even know why she's losing appetite she's not eating she's not, not sucking not doing all of that in the name of Jesus Christ let that little baby be healed right now now whether I've mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is a mysterious sickness just destroying both of them like in this not accident like that just you know in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest You will not lose any of your loved ones again. Therefore be healed. Be perfected. There's someone you have, your own is not heart palpitations. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me. Your heart is not pumping blood properly. This is what is wrong with you. 
I may not know the, the medical name of that situation, but it makes you dizzy. It, I mean, it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. Whatever blockage is around your heart, that extends to your veins, your arteries, whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body. In Jesus' name, we declare supernaturally, let there be healing. Let there be healing. There's someone, the Lord is showing me, every time it's, it is rainy season, you have boils come out of your body, like boils, sores, come out even, you know, various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously. I don't know who that person is, but this year, we exempt you from that experience. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, everyone, you're going to be praying in the spirit for the next one minute while you submit your prayer requests. Let's do it very quickly. Ushers, let's have the prayer requests. Please bring out your prayer requests. Our global family, now is the time to forward your requests. Just pass it to the last person by your left or right to make the work easy for the ushers. Just pass it, please. If you need to pen down one or two things, just make that snappy very, very quickly. Hallelujah. Make that very snappy. God bless you. Are you praying? Make sure you're not silent. Ushers, let's make it fast, please. Make sure we have enough people outside and then all the overflows. Those online connect by faith right now. You heard the testimonies. Hallelujah. Where is that woman who gave, that professor woman that gave a testimony from the Zimbabwe, America? Where is she? Is she here? Please let her come quickly. And then the pastor from Redeemed, that pastor from Redeemed that testified, two of them, please let them come. Submit your request very quickly. Let's have it very quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. The pastor from Redeemed, please let him come. And then the professor walking with Jeff Bezos. Hallelujah. I want to speak over your lives, both of you. You came here, I just felt led in my spirit, not that we're trivializing, and every testimony is great, but the Lord put it in my heart. I thought I would do this privately, but the Lord asked me to do it now. Please, let's have the request very quickly. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that both of you have acknowledged the power of the anointing. The, the, you can be gifted, but your gift must be anointed. To be gifted and to be anointed are two different things. To be gifted means that you have developed, outsourced, and even refined your value to be able to serve your world with excellence. But the assignment of the anointing is to be able to bring the spirit factor because James 2.26 says a body without a spirit is dead. Your gift is a body without a spirit. It can still be dead. And our dear professor, we're going to pray for you and release you with another dimension of grace that you will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God can do. And for our dear pastor, we don't know what parish you pastor or whatever you do, but you have come to acknowledge Jesus. The lands you bought in Lekki and the other one is child's play. That is just a test of faithfulness. God will grant you access to the wealth of nations. Now let me pray for both of you. I stretch my hands. We've been commanded to bless. And in the name of Jesus, this is a sworn blessing. It cannot be reversed. I stretch my hands upon both of you using you as a point of contact to as many who desire to walk in this reality god has lifted you in jesus name professor we pray let that grace speak for you Amen. go back and be marvelously distinguished Amen. even among your contemporaries we elevate you by the anointing Amen. and for our pastor in the name of jesus may the lord anoint you Amen a unique grace for wealth and prosperity let it rest upon you in the name of jesus as you declare the word in season and out of season the lord himself will bring such evidence to your ministry i bless you both 
go and return with greater testimonies in Jesus name we pray give them a big hand clap thank you please stretch your hands and begin to declare over your request remember I've taught you on expectation I want you to begin to make faith declarations very quickly I'm returning with my testimony everything written here will be returned as a harvest of answers Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible it's a prayer Lord, Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible please let's be sure that everyone's request is here i want to lay my hands on it i'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit and declare over this request father in the name of jesus i return with testimonies is someone praying is someone praying Shabaraso koto prantas kalibereso dia parados. Rata baraso do braske berento sidas. Jesus Christ I decree and I declare that every request here represented let it return to you as a testimony for many of you may it return faster than you expected I say it again may it return faster than you expected For some of you, your answer comes this night. Where you have been mocked in the name of Jesus Christ, may that mockery come to an end. Where men have said, where is your God? May God use your results to reply them. In the name of Jesus Christ. let fire fall on this request 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 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. In the name of Jesus, you will not have to repeat anything you've written here. I stand upon this request and I decree and declare the same way I'm standing upon it prophetically everything that has risen above you to limit your life I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet now I declare over your life favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ number two koinonia receive speed receive speed in one month may God give you the achievement of years in one month I repeat may my God give you the achievement of years I decree and declare everything that has brought you down and covered your glory I give visibility to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the helpers of your destiny who have been anointed to locate you and to work in partnership with God for your lifting wherever they are I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life hear me I pray for your various homes I decree and declare may your home be a tabernacle for the presence of God may your home be a place of fire and revival in the name of Jesus Christ and everything written as Ichabod in your life I decree and declare let there be a sudden restoration a sudden restoration wealth like you have never handled may my God bring to your hands in the name of Jesus I pray for your relationship with the Lord hear me hear me hear me hear me this is a very big deal not just for God but even in this ministry while it is true that we are concerned with the holistic building of every man it is important to understand that in order of priority the greatest point of emphasis is your spiritual health therefore I decree and declare your word study life your prayer life may fire come upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast your word study life a passion for the word receive it in the name of Jesus I recommend that you listen to my message get my teaching equipping the saints I preached it in Zaria the last time I visited there. I, I visited them there. Please get it. It's online. It's on our, 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 our YouTube page, Koinonia Global. Please make sure you listen. Equipping the saints. There I teach on how believers are methodically trained and mentored into stature and maturity. I spoke about the place of a systemic prayer life, not just a prayer life. I taught there that if your prayer life is not systemic, you can never be strong. You can't freelance prayer as occasion serves. There must be a systematized approach to prayer that produces results. And then your word study life. I showed three dimensions of your encounter with the word. Please get the teaching. It's available. Listen to it again and again for your spiritual edification. In the name of Jesus. Let me make my altar call now. This is one of the greatest parts of the service for me. I know you have tried, except you have to. Please let me ask us to remain standing, except you have to. Please, let's just honor this call 
this one last time I want to make a call for those who need Jesus Christ I spoke on expectation you know that you need Jesus in your life to be your Lord and Savior or you are here you're saying apostle I truly want to rededicate my life to Jesus whilst I heard you teach as I saw the miracles and the manifestations of the Spirit the Holy Ghost began to convict me telling me that I need Jesus in my life you may be here in this auditorium scattered all around or across the overflows or from any part um, of the globe following our time is up I'm going to count one to five by now there's no reason why we should cajole you you know that you need Jesus Jesus is not a matter of Christianity or religion he calls us into an active functional relationship and you might be here saying I want to rededicate my life to Jesus as it is things have not gone right with my life I want to make it right I'm counting one to five I'd like you to in a hurry run and come and stand here or you can stand in front of your LED screens and if you're following from across the globe I'd like you to position your heart as I lead God's people to pray I begin my counting now God bless you rush as you come one koinonia let's celebrate them come two someone is running to Jesus finally 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 three don't say there are many people already come it's a personal affair the master calls you hallelujah Come to Jesus. It's never too late to make it right with Jesus. The Bible declares that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son. The Bible then says, whoever believes in him, that he should not perish but have everlasting life. This is the gift that God gives all who come to him, even through Jesus. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory hallelujah come when it has to do with jesus whether you are learned or unlearned whether you're old young male female he calls us all the same you can choose to sit back there ignoring this call we have no right to force you but remember this is about you and jesus give him a chance to make beauty and glory out of your life i salute all of you who have made this noble decision to come to jesus i'm going to lead you in this prayer of faith and you who is following from across the globe following from your home jesus is giving you an opportunity to make it right with him and as i lead these precious ones to pray make sure you follow and then let us know that you just made that decision you can contact our media team or our pr um, uh, team the, the, the emails are there the phone lines are there let's know that you made Jesus Lord of your life and you can be guided on what to do for those of you who are in front here may I request that you please lift your right hand as a sign of surrender to this Jesus you have come to honor say after me Lord Jesus tonight I declare that I love you with all my heart I declare that I believe in you as the Son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I make Jesus Lord of my life Savior of my life and King of my life I declare that the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life I declare that from tonight I am a child of God I go forward ever and backward never let me pray for you in the name of Jesus based on the authority of Scripture and upon your confession I declare that you are bona fide recipients of the life of God 
I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. From tonight, we call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I declare that the grace to live the victorious Christian life is imparted upon you. From tonight, you go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. A big congratulations to all of you. Now, let me please request that you please move to my right, which will be your left. There are a group of counselors waiting to have a word with you very quickly, a minute or so, and then you'll be back to your seats. Let's honor them as they go. Let's honor them as they go. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.